Well, these types of activities are particularly suited to the development of cross-curricular themes and categories. Well, it's a great opportunity for them to come over to uh, the University of Brighton to interact with um, some of your students here and uh, get a feel for what it's like to be at university. Orienteering is a great alternative to the traditional cross-country run and has many educational benefits for pupils in school. Uh, well, we started off with uh, simple exercises about map orientating, so that helped quite well to sort of get your bearings and how to turn the map when you move around. And then we experienced going around and actually trying to find the points, so that was quite a good experience and got us all a bit hot and sweaty to get uh, going, so that was quite nice. It's a fantastic chance for our students who are perhaps not used to um, these types of team games, they might not be the invasion games players, but they get this chance through this alternative curriculum to work as a team, get their communication skills up and it works fantastically well for our students for that. Orienteering within the confines of the school grounds promotes collaborative learning and problem solving as well as joint decision making. The highlight for me today has been running around and working in a team. The university have given us the basis for the orienteering, however it's really nice to put it always into practice um, and using pupils from a different school it also helps develop us as professionals but it also helps develop them as um, on a different site and everything from orienteering so they really enjoy it and I really love it. They understand exactly how to orientate a map which is fantastic because if they then go outside of school and need to do something like the Duke of Edinburgh they can find that quite easily. And then we've used our phones. We had to take pictures of the points where we found them, which I thought was quite good because everyone's getting involved and racing around to get them as quick as they can and see who can win. The teaching of orienteering in schools can be taught in such a way that expensive equipment, facilities and resources are not necessarily essential. I was always appealed to this university and uh, today's only just made my opinions a bit higher, so it's really pushed me towards university, I think. I've enjoyed it and I'm tired now anyway. <laughs>